In today's video, we are going to work on the configuration of Router R2. If you haven't seen the previous video where we configured R1, I invite you to do so to have context and be able to understand this valuable content. I am Richard Reyes, CEO of NLink IT. Let's begin. In this blue box, we have written the IP addresses of Router R2. The first thing we're going to do is access R1 through Winbox and activate Roman. Then we can manage R2 through Winbox. I need to do this because I'm working on this lab virtualized through GNS3. So I access R1. I go to Tools Roman and activate this checkbox. Now, I go to IP Neighbors, and on the Ether2 interface, I click on Mac Telnet to manage Router R2 through the console. Logan Admin Password is left blank, and I press Enter. New Password 1234 Repeat New Password 1234 now we are going to configure the name of router R2. Then we will activate Roman mode. All right, it's done now. We are going to close the entire window. We go back to Winbox and connect to R1, but this time we are going to do it through Roman. And here R2 already appears. I select it and click Connect. Perfect, we are inside R2 through Winbox. Now we are going to label the interfaces. The next step will be to configure the IP addresses. Remember that we have them here in this blue box and we start. The IP addresses are already added. Now we are going to configure the DNS. All right, now we move on to the static routes and add the gateway 172.168.1.1. We can see here that the route is active. What follows is to configure the DHCP server so that PC2 automatically obtains an IP address. So we start and press next until we complete the wizard. Here in the leases tab, the address leased to PC2 should appear. But at the moment, nothing appears. So, we are going to check on the PC2 console. We type the password ozboxes, org, And once inside, we are going to check in network. And we can observe that the PC has obtained the IP address 192.168.2.254. If we go back to the MicroTik and leases, we also observe the same IP address. All right, we close these windows. and open the terminal. Using the ping command to 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 
we check, and we do not have connectivity to the internet. To resolve this it is necessary to create the root in R1, this root whose function is to feed PC2. At this point I want to make a very important announcement, and that is that you should keep in mind that we are creating a routed network whose main objective is to have transparent communication between all the PCs in this network. I mean PC1, PC2, and PC3. To achieve this, we have decided not to configure NAT on router R2, which implies that PC2 will not be able to access the internet. But don't worry, we have a solution. We are going to create a static route in R1 that will give connectivity to PC2. Do you want to know how to do it? Keep watching the video, and I will explain it to you step by step. So let's do it. We access R1. Go to IP route. Click the plus sign in DST address. We type 192.168.2.0 slash 24. Gateway 172.168.1.2. In comments route for PC2. And here we can observe that the static route is active. If we go back to PC2 again, we see that the DNS 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 is already responding. Now using the ping command, we are going to test connectivity to PC1, which has the IP address 192.168.1.254. We get a satisfactory response. What follows is to access PC1 to test connectivity from there to PC2. We go to the terminal. We type the ping command space 192.168.2.254 and we observe that we have a satisfactory response. Back on PC2, we see that the question mark on the network card has been removed. I think it took a while to update this icon because we are working in a virtualized environment and the resource allocation is not very high, but it is already linking correctly. We can also access the Firefox browser and navigate to the Microtik page. Perfect, all of this is working correctly. Well friends, we have reached the end of this lab. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next video where we will configure router R3. Thank you for watching.